Joseph. Yeah, that's, so, a, that's exactly right. Yeah, and yeah. we're not seeing that much rain here. No, yeah, that heavy rain is kind yeah. of behind us for some time. We should have uh, multiple days this week where we can dry out a bit. Yeah, it's been a little bit damp and foggy. But yeah. Tomorrow, the big day, Joseph says we're even going to see a little bit of sun. Yeah, which is nice, you know, especially following like multiple days with gray skies. So, yeah, a little bit of sunshine. I do have one location, though, off to the east where we're going to be dealing with fog. And not only fog, but freezing fog. So there's a freezing fog advisory. Now, we mentioned earlier we might have some patchy spots of fog and maybe some freezing fog around the valley as well. But definitely will uh, for areas stretching through the Dalles to the northeast into parts of Washington. So this is going to affect a lot of people, especially if you're doing some driving here uh, early tomorrow morning. Notice that this is in place until noon. Uh, so that means early travel tomorrow could possibly uh, come across some of that fog and slick conditions from freezing fog. So just keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling that section tomorrow. So overall holiday travel should be OK, but there's definitely going to be some problems here uh, through parts of the Columbia Basin. OK, current visibility is definitely low there. It's been down to a mile or below, so that's going to be the trouble spot. And over towards Baker City, if you're in that section of the state, you might be dealing with some fog and some freezing fog uh, too. You can see the temperatures are right there freezing and below. Dallas at 30, Pendleton at uh, 27, Baker City at 24. We're still mild here in the valley. Temperatures likely not going to cool off much more than where they're at right now in the upper 30s, but patchy fog is definitely possible. So let's talk about the holiday travel. If you're going to be going north up towards areas of Washington or maybe you need to go down south towards Grant Pass or down further south into areas of California, you're going to be dealing with maybe some wet roads and some patchy fog, but I would say overall travel is going to be uh, OK. And as far as the afternoon goes, you won't have many issues there. Gorge travel, maybe some showers in the morning and some fog. And as I just showed you, some freezing fog from about the Dalles to the east and then potentially uh, some light snow for the Upper Hood River uh, Valley area just for the morning, but likely not going to be much. And that goes for the mountains and over towards the coast, likely just some lingering showers for your morning hours. OK, let's talk about the radar. You can see the rain here. It's very, very light. In fact, we haven't had any measurable rain here in Portland just yet, but areas to the south have seen just a splash or two. This is going to continue as we go through the overnight hours. I pause it here. You see McMinnville up towards Hillsborough and Beaverton and Woodburn seeing some very light rain. And as I mentioned, it's just going to kind of stick around through most of the overnight before it dries up heading into tomorrow. Yeah, a little heavier as far as the rain goes up towards areas of southwest Washington, the Olympic Peninsula. Uh, but for us, just very light rain. How about snow levels? Well, locally here in the valley, have us down to about 1,500 feet uh, to about 2,000 feet. So we shouldn't see any snowfall here from the West Hills down towards Portland. Uh, that should be a problem. You can see 20 degrees coming out of Mount Hood right now. Watch this rain kind of fall apart as we go through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. Keep some clouds, try to keep some rain even late tomorrow, but I would say that will likely not happen and we'll have a couple sun breaks instead. So with your seven day forecast, 43 on Friday, Saturday 45. If you're traveling back or you have some friends or family travel back for the weekend, it's going to be a little wet on Sunday. On Sunday, maybe try to come back Saturday if you can. Yeah, if you have the option. All right, thanks, Joseph. Okay, and it's that time of year too. We're all